All right, so I've been saying I'm gonna do this for a while, teach y'all how to get stronger in the bench, proper form, all of that. So this is the first time I'm gonna really do a tutorial. So here we go. It's called flat bench, which you should know if you're in the gym. If not, flat bench, one, for two. This is the base of where you build all your strength. Now, proper form for this, you have two rules of thumbs. You can go super wide, which will widen the chest, and a lot of power lifters do it because it shortens the lift. But in my opinion, it doesn't really make you stronger. It just makes the lift less as high so you don't have to get that heavy weight up and you still get counted in the competition. What I like for a grip is you go just outside of your shoulders. Now, when you do this, you don't want to bring the bar flat to the middle of your chest. That's where a lot of people do their their bench press and they let the weight come up and down to the middle of your chest. Where you want it is at the very bottom. Almost like you're doing a decline. When you bring it here, you want to bring your elbows in and that'll give you your pushing power. That's where you get all the power from. Now, come to the side. If you're going for one, like whatever your personal goal is, your PR, you want to arch your back for one press. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get here and you're gonna balance on your shoulder blades. Then you're gonna bring your feet underneath you and you're gonna be curled. Once you're here, you put your butt down. Then you get the same grip, come down to here and you press through your feet up through your back. It's very awkward. Now, when you're doing sets, you don't wanna do that because it puts a lot of strain on your lower back. So that right there is just for one press. Whenever you're going for whatever your max is, that's the only time you want to do that. Outside of that, there's things that will build up your strength that I recommend that if you're going to do it, you only do it once a month. So, say you work out chest four times in a month. When your last workout day for chest on that, that month, that last week, what you want to do is you want to overload this. Let's say your max is 225, okay? So what you want to do is you want to go about 20 pounds over your max. So you want to put 245 on here. That is more than you can lift. You got to get you a spotter that is strong enough to get the weight off of you. Basically what this is going to be is a negative. When you have your 245 on here, pull the weight off. As you pull the weight off, you don't try to press it because you can't press it. It's too much. What you're going to do is you're going to hold the weight as long as you can in the proper position. And you're gonna fight it all the way down. And the minute it touches your chest, you barely put any pressure pushing up because your spotter, he's gonna pull it off of you completely. Then you do it like this, you hold it as long as you can, all the way down, fighting it as hard as you can to keep it off you. Then once again, he's gonna pull it off of you. Now, when you get to the point when your spotter's over you, at least he's helped you like two to three times, He's gonna have his hands on it the whole time because eventually you're not gonna be able to hold it. Once it goes all the way down without any pressure being added, that's when you wrap it. You're done. Now, the rule of thumb behind this is if you can control the weight on the way down, you can press it because it's always harder to hold something than it is to move it off of you. So if you can hold it all the way down in that 245, once you can do that, you'll be able to get it off of you with no problem. All right? Now there's another thing you can do for strength with a flat bench. Go ahead. That's fine. Alright, basically this is called lockouts. So real simple thing. Once again, you only really want to do this once a month. So I would recommend if you do the negatives, you do the lockouts at, at the end. So you're gonna get the same grip that you normally have. About shoulder length apart, as if you was pressing, but the motion is only here. That's it, that's all you're doing. That's it. Now you wanna put it close to your max, you don't have to put your max on there, but say, once again, 225 is your max, you wanna put, say, 205 on there. And just do sets with it, right there. Boom, boom, that's all you gotta move. Now. What it's gonna do is, it's gonna be difficult to get pressure to push that much weight close to your max off the rack. That simulates the rack. 
And what happens is a lot of people can get the weight off of them, but they get stuck at the top. So what this helps you do is get past that so you can lock it out and have that rep count. Now, let's go back to the flat bench. Another neat thing that you can do with the flat bench is this. I'm gonna need you to stand behind me. I want you to simulate something. All right, get a weight that you normally work out with. Let's say you only do 135, okay? Imagine that you have 135 on this bar and you're doing this. And let's say you can only get it eight times. Come closer, because I'm gonna get them to show you. While you're doing this, say you're on your sixth one. As you're coming up, start tapping the bar down. No, no, tap it. Yeah. You're going to have a spotter tap it, not hard, but put pressure on it. So you're fighting his pressure, plus trying to put up the 135 that you normally do. And that right there is a type of resistance training that will get you stronger. Now, you don't want to do that every time. You want to be careful with whatever you do. I would recommend, like I said, do that probably once a week. Say, do that on your third week. At the very end, just have it tap down, tap down, tap down as you're trying to do it. Now, this incline bench, which works the top part of your chest. Now, with inclines, what you want to make sure is that your feet are planted on the ground. Then, the motion, a lot of people with this, they mess it up too, because a lot of people want to bench press. They want to come here. That's not the motion. The point is to get the top bigger. So when you press, once again, have a shoulder. Um, I like just right outside the shoulder width. Some people might like a little closer. You gotta be careful going too close though. When you get closer and closer, you're using more triceps and not any pec. As you get wider, you're using more pec, not so much try. That's why I like right outside the shoulders because you're actually using both. You're using mostly chest with some tries to support it which to me, I'm a lot stronger at. Now, when you do this, you want to come straight up, straight down, but the motion is to here, at the top, right there, and then you hit it up. If you need to, when you're planting your feet, you can push, push through your feet, through your body, up. Straight up, straight to the chin. Then, you have people who like to do declines. Decline. Now, I have a lot of people arguing with me here about proper form on this. And my opinion, what has made me get so strong is that if you're gonna do this, most people like to push straight up like they're doing a normal bench press. Now, this is the experiment I want you to do. You can try this, and you tell me what you feel more of in the chest. The point is to work the bottom of the chest, all right? So if you're doing this, lock your hands out here. You don't feel a lot in the chest, but the more you move down, the more you feel this start to flex the bottom. So the point I'm trying to make is this. Most people will tell you, when you do declines, get your shoulder width grip again, you come here. This is a decline. That's how I tell you. Bottom of the chest, just like on the flat bench, and straight up. Uh-uh. You want to come here and go this way with it. Go this way with it. You can even see my chest start to jump more at this angle than it does here. Go here. Go away from the chest. You know, like I said, a lot of people argue with me and say that's not the right way to do it. You need to go straight up. But you can simply do a test your arms here and then bring your arms down and tell me where you feel more in your chest. Try it both ways, see which way works best for you. Now, an alternative to that, which I like the best, to me this is way better than that. dips. Now, there's two ways you can do this. One is more for tries, one is more for lower chest. What you normally see people doing is right here, the straight up. 
That's working your triceps. How you do your chest is you lean more forward here. You come forward with it. Keep the elbows in close. Elbows in close, lean forward, press up and down. That works there. If it gets too easy, say you're doing like 15, it's easy. Then you get you a belt with a chain around it and you start adding weight. If you don't want to go heavy, start with a five pound, then a 10, 25, 35, 45, so on. Until you get what feels right. Now the other thing, and this has nothing to do with strength. This is a shaping exercise. And it's just, you can choose. You can pack that, which is this. This is real simple. All you do is come here. That's the pec deck. Probably want to do that 10 to 12 times. It's going to help out with the center line and your chest. Or what most people prefer to do. Our butterfly. Now, when you do butterflies, here's the thing. You see some people, they like to do like this. I don't like to do like that. What I like to do is to keep, you can feel that that breaks your natural alignment. You're aligned like this. This is how your body's aligned. You always want to keep a slight bend in the elbows and then you come in like you're hugging a barrel. Imagine there's a barrel in between your chest or a really big fat bitch that you just can't get your arms around. You're trying to squeeze, get around that big bitch. You know she ain't pretty. Y'all want to show off to your friends, but damn, she can cook good. Damn, she make the best eggs and bacon in the morning when you wake up, and for that, you can't leave the big bitch alone. So that's what you want to do. Act like you're hugging her, like you love her, because you're trying to get that food. And she got money, and take a shot. Then you calm down. Right here, just past parallel. With anything you do, even on the bench, although you can't really break it because it touches, you never want to go too deep. When you go too deep with anything, you're no longer using that muscle part. You're having to use a different muscle group to get it up to use what you're trying to use. So like I said, with this, you go just past parallel and come in like you're hugging that big, sexy thing. And that's pretty much what I do for chest. Hope y'all liked it. That's my first tutorial. If you got any questions, let me know.